Why'd yeah. you drop it in there? Don't don't drop hit me. Oh my god. Sorry, my cameraman is also recording me. He's also giving out tips. But do not like drop the pasta in there, okay? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be cooking again but also I wanted to mention since the title of this video is like I think it's on a different level like mediocre it said episode of cooking mediocre level so now we're going to see you graduated easy cooking now we're on the medium cooking and today we're going to be cooking easy pasta which is mediocre so Congratulations for graduating! Anyways, we'll pass that. Today we're going to be making pasta with as few little ingredients as we can, but it will still taste amazing. So, let's get started with the ingredients. I'm going to list the ingredients out right here, okay? Or well, not right here, but I'm going to list them right now. First, we'll need eggs, all purpose flour then salt and pepper and that's pretty much it now let's get cooking okay now that we got all of our ingredients i'll tell you the simple steps on how to make a good pasta now let's get started with the first step okay so now that we got um all our ingredients we're gonna start prepping the board just kidding not the board but like preparing the stuff so let me show you what we have to do to make pasta well i was going to show you anyway so first off we got to create this ring like shape of flour that'll be like the dryness for the pasta to dry out the eggs we're going to be putting in here and first when we do put our eggs in here we're going to put it in that hole right there we're, we're going to we're gonna have to separate the egg yolk from the main egg, like the clear part. I don't know, okay? And then also make sure to subscribe and like and comment on what cooking video you want me to post next. Anyways, let's get started on separating the eggs, which I'm gonna do it right now so you don't have to witness painful. Bye! Okay, now that we got the eggs into the flour and separated the yolk, and now that we've done that, we gotta start mixing. So once we start mixing, sorry, someone's behind me. Um, so once we start mixing, we also gotta keep in mind that this ratio should be intact. Like, since this is part, pretty much a whole cup, I would use honestly two to three eggs for this whole cup. But you do your own ratios if you wanna dry, if you wanna wet, I don't know. But now I'm gonna mix it and show you what your results should be. You should, you have to knead it like that, like dough, you know. Now I'll show you the end result. Also, before you start kneading, I recommend putting some seasoning on there before so it mixes in with the dough. Now let's get cooking. Okay, guys. Now that we're finally done with this beautiful dough, oh god, stay there. But first of all, that last step we did with mixing the eggs and everything, you might need two to four more because it'll turn out kind of dry but if it does turn out fine like this in the end then you don't have to add more eggs but it, if it's kind of dry like this stuff then just add more eggs add two eggs and then if it doesn't work add like one more that's it so in total it should be like six eggs but now that we got the pasta ready and um now we're gonna have to knead it and then turn it into the pasta and also a tip um, or, or a summary of what we've been doing so far. We made a ring of flour um, and then put like six eggs in it or four and then we kneaded it, turned it into dough and now we're about to flatten it, turn it into normal pasta and then we're gonna boil it. Now, I'm gonna knead it and then I'm gonna get the pot out and everything and thank you guys for watching so far. Now. Transition. Okay, now that we kneaded the dough, it should look flat like this and probably long like that. And then we kneaded it with a roller, which I recommend, but if you don't have a roller, just go ahead. Anyways, so, um, 
let's do a summary on what the ingredients you need. You would need about seven eggs and then a whole cup of flour to go around it like a ring mix. And then it should be a ball and then you flatten it. Boom, you got your dough right here. Now we're gonna now we gotta cut it with a either a pizza cutter or if you have a professional like pasta cutter, you could do that too. But I recommend for this type of pasta, we're gonna use a pizza cutter to go like this, this, and this. And I'll show you the end result. And while I'm gonna do that, you should probably do this step too. Let's go. Okay, now that we got <clears throat> our pasta, I'm gonna show you how to like cut up the pasta. So as I said, cut up long noodles like this and then you're going to cut them in half, like, well not in half, but like this. And then you're going to keep cutting into little bits. Actually, it's kind of like macaroni and cheese, except with the, um, with, it's like, um, two of them. But, and it's my own pasta, you know? So now that we've got all the simple sections, we're going to put it with the other. I'm recording, so. Okay. okay. Now that we got it cut up with the others, now, we can start boiling the pasta. Now, let's get a big pot. So let me tell you how to boil it. So first, we're gonna need a big pot, and then we're gonna put like about this size of the pot, like, or like this amount of water with it, or as much as water as you want, just as long as it like fits, all the pasta fits in it. Now we're gonna, and then we're gonna set it on high, and then we're gonna put a cover on it with those, and we're gonna keep stirring it around, and then drain it, and then I'll see you then. But first, I'll show you, well, I'll see you then when I do the pot, boil the pasta. Okay, now that we got the pot filled with water, we're gonna start to put it on high heat, okay? Make sure you have adult supervision if you're a little child like me, which, if you guys saw my community post where YouTube considers me a young minor, um, that's why. So, adult supervision. Now we're gonna start to boil it. And then I'll show you when we put the pasta into the boil. See two of them. So now that we got it to boil, we're gonna start putting the pasta in. Yeah, be, be careful of that too. Okay, now so did yeah. You drop it in there. Don't don't drop hit me. Oh my god. Sorry, my cameraman is also recording me. He's also giving out tips. But do not like drop the pasta in there, okay? Now that we got some pasta in there, we're gonna put the rest of the pasta in there. Keep me in the picture, cameraman. Okay. See you when it. See you when it. We we're gonna strain it. Okay. After we did an excruciatingly pain of tossing it in there, we didn't toss it in there. You have to gently put it in there. So after my cameraman thought he was the main character. I'm just kidding. So now that we got the pasta, I want to give you guys a tip. I recommend putting salt in the, a little salt in the pasta, just you know, yummy, makes it yummy. Now, um, let's get on with more. I'm gonna show you when we strain it. Okay, guys. Now that our pasta is starting to boil, I I have to give you the time of how how long you want to keep this on boil. So I'd say around two three minutes until like it starts to like, you know, soften, like runny noodle. And then once we're done, we're gonna start to strain it, like to get all the water out, and then we'll put the finishing touches. See you when we strain it. Okay, now that we are all done with the pasta, we're gonna um, put it to boil. Also guys, I recommend cutting it into thin, thin slices. Okay, we're good. Thin slices because ours kind of turned a little harder than we expected, but see, look at that, pasta. Also make sure guys just to cut it really thin, not like over thick pasta mess. Now that we drained it, I, rec I recommend after this, put it, on, put it in a bowl or plate, and then I'll show you what it should look like. And for this, for this finishing touches, you probably need a drizzle of olive oil, olive oil and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay guys, so I think the finishing look should look like this. But also, I recommend, I should have cut it thinner. I should, really should have, so I recommend you guys do that as well. But if you guys cut it thin, it should look like this. We fail. Violet! I'm recording. Oh my god. Sorry, my cameraman. 
Oh, look at that. Put some lemon pepper or garlic powder on it. It looks good. Now I'm gonna have my brother taste test. Okay guys, now that we are all done with the amazing pasta, and let me just give you a summary before I taste test it. So basically what you do, make a big ring of flour, put six eggs to it, like it depends on your ratio of flour to eggs, and then mix it into dough, roll it thin, don't roll it like I did with thick, because then it'll kind of be like chewy, not like, you know, slurp. You know? <laughs> So you gotta roll it extra thin with like a pasta maker or something. But we made that mistake. And now, and then we boiled it. And then after that we strained it, put some seasoning on it. And now let's try the amazing pasta. Now, I should have rolled it this thick, but let's try it. Really good. I love the seasoning. I have a really good flavor. My cameraman also wants to try it. Cameraman, you should rate it. Okay, seven or eight. Yeah, but if we rolled it extra thin, like a ramen noodle, we should have done that. But thank you guys for watching today's tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on what you want me to post next. Now make sure you don't mess it up like mine, and as always, goodbye.